Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, we are trying it's a silicone bake sheet in the shape of pigs. I'm not mistaken, they said $19.99 for one. They will double your off, but for a separate fee. I actually bought this one for $9.99. Maybe the infomercial, they were just testing that $19.99 and everybody said, hells to the no. The dollar store sells these little silicone pans. People are getting savvy to this shit, especially with me as their consumer reporter. We're listening and we're checking all your shit. $9.99 was the price that I paid for it. That wasn't horrible. Still a little pricey, but if, if I get cute piggies out of it and I can put a lot of different jello, because this is like a jello mold, isn't it? I have pancake mix, which I'm gonna put little weenies in it. <laughs> use brownies with it. Eggs. Can you imagine an egg shaped into an oink oink piggy? That's gonna be cute. And I have these hot dogs that I cut in half and then I cut that half in half. Does that make sense? <laughs> Ta <-da! laughs> it's kind of cheesy. I don't know about $9.99 though. I think this should be priced like at $5.99. Oh, I also got a recipe book. <laughs> I hate when they include that as one of the parts. That's not. Unless you're going to give me like a full blown like book, like a recipe book, this little booklet thing doesn't count. If you're going to count it, it needs to be a cookbook. <laughs> I'm just saying that too much. <laughs> You know those smart asses in my comments are going, Vivian, the company has to make money. You're a damn fool if you think they're not making money. <laughs> coming out their ears, coming out their eyeballs, coming out their nose, coming out. It feels really nice. Now, the main test for me when I get these little silicone things is non-stick. I'm not going to spray this. When you tell me in the infomercial it is a non-stick silicone, I'm not trying to bust any balls here, but I'm going to test it as a non-stick silicone. Interpret that as lightly spray it anyway. No. <laughs> non-stick silicone means it's not going to stick, so don't add any extra shit. Hot dog in, that's it. But for those folks that want to read the instructions, number one, fill the mold. Number two, press the weenie in to your batter. Number three, bake. This little tips and tricks area, we're not playing these games, okay? Take it out your infomercial. Tips and tricks number one says, make sure to spray your piggy pop mold with non-stick baking spray to ensure easy removal of your pigs. Is it a non-stick silicone or not? In the infomercial, you said, now I'm going with, hey, you sold me in that infomercial. Had me spending my dollars. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I don't know that anything's going to come out of here. It's going to look just like a mush. <laughs> Number two says to use one of those, like, squeezy bottles, batter dispensers, not included in the infomercial. In the infomercial, it was also $19.99, so that's cool. You can keep it. I'm just going to pour it like that. It works the same way. Sour cream? I don't know. Maple bacon piggy pop. Pepperoni pizza piggy pop. I mean, listen, you can make a piggy pop. They could have slapped that name on everything. You can do mashed potato piggy pops, meatloaf piggy pops. Washed. We are going to start with the egg. Oh, perfect. Hey, I haven't made a mess. I'm actually doing pretty good, huh? Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh, I messed it up. Very good. We have here our baking sheet. Oh. You want to put your silicone pan on the baking sheet before you start pouring. This thing is so flimsy that your shit's going to spill out, especially eggs. Quickly, Vivian. No! Piggy Pops makes me think like it's a pop, like a popsicle or cake pops, right? Okay, be careful. Let's put it in the oven. <laughs> They're definitely popping out. Is it because of the eggs? Are my pancakes gonna look like this too? Ta da! Pop it out. 
What the hell is What is this? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> what do you think? Nice? No. You're going to scare the kids. What the hell? Look at that. Not even close. I'm going to line them up right here so you guys can see them. <laughs> Not cute. Oh my god, one came out right. Okay, one actually worked. Why didn't these work? Now that is cute. Even his curly little tail came out right. The ones in the middle look to be okay. Okay, not so much, <laughs> but better. Perfection, two out of 12. No, out of the 12 piggies that we put in, three and a half of them came out pretty decent. The others are gonna scare the children. Let's start pouring and stuffing. For the first four or the top row, I'm just gonna do pancake batter because I wanna see how well that does. And I'm not gonna overfill it because I don't want it to like, see, I'm a chef. <laughs> on the Food Network, I think they gently tap the pan on the counter to get all the bubbles out. I cut the hot dog in half or in threes. I cut it in half again because I wanted it to fit there. I felt like if I just cut the weenie in half, it would be too long, you see? The instructions say to pour the batter first and then put your hot dog in. My weenie is sticking out. <laughs> your weenie's sticking out. Your weenies are going to stick out. That's a half of a half. I'm trying to gently put a little extra something something on top. My weenies are sticking out. You don't want your weenies sticking out. It's just not. <laughs> Look how tiny that weenie is. I'm just gonna put it right there. Put just a little bit more on the top. Even this guy is not gonna work. You have to cut him in half. For two of them, I'm going to put the weenie in first, then the batter, just to see if that does anything. The batter is going to expand and they're just going to explode. <laughs> Gently tap it to get the batter into the little crevices and to get all the bubbles out. Back on the cookie sheet into the oven. <laughs> There's some weenies still in there. I think they're gonna pop out. I don't think they're gonna stick. So, so far the non-stick might be a true statement. How oh, freaking cute. This one, I didn't put a weenie in. He's just strictly pancake batter. He's perfect. I will confirm that this pan is non-stick. Remember, I was, I was talking shit about that, but I was wrong. I'll admit when I'm wrong. Okay, another one. Oh, there you go. Got him. <laughs> He's perfect. Now the center ones. Okay, that one's not too bad. It's almost like the pan is not cooking them evenly because the ones on the top row are kind of burnt. Okay, come on. He kind of fell apart. You can't do half of a half. It's too big. His head fell off. Non-stick, but it did fall apart. And the ones that are falling apart are the ones that I put the larger size of the hot dog in there. That's facial features, look at them. They're perfect. These are the center guys, and these are the back. This row and this row seem to cook a lot faster than this middle row. You can see it right there. Even the little tail in the back is coming out perfect. This is just batter. There's nothing in these. Before we move on, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, taste them, Vivian. I'm going to taste one without 
the hot dog in it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. Tastes like a pancake. This doesn't enhance flavors or anything like that. This is the one with a hot dog in it. Tastes like pancakes and a hot dog. Super easy to clean. I did use just a little brush that I had just to make sure I get all the batter out of the little crevices, but it was not hard at all to wash. Here, my gelatin already mixed. I did add a little extra gelatin just so that they're a little bit firmer than a just regular jello. So far I have a couple of complaints about this thing. $9.99 for what I've experienced so far, I, I would say pass on it. If it gets down to about $5.99, I would say get it. You're only going to be able to get like four out of the 12 little piggy shapes here to come out perfectly. It wasn't too bad. Now it was non-stick and that was one of the big things I was saying in the beginning that I was probably going to have to spray it with something. but. I haven't at all and things have come out of here perfectly. The infomercial talks about using these like at parties. I think even on the little scroll bar at the bottom they talk about wedding. Don't you dare take this to a, this is like cute like grandma made these for the grandkids kind of deal. Or maybe the kids want to bake something and like that but I wouldn't take a batch of these to a party. Could you imagine you out take you and your damn <laughs> piggy pops. Go television shit now. We're done. I am going to use my little spatula, by the way, just to kind of loosen the side. I'm afraid that this might be a fail. <laughs> oh, Jello is just not. <laughs> I only got the body of the pig. The Jello is kind of tricky because if, if it's too watery, obviously it's not going to come out right. So you might need to play with the gelatin recipe. Overall, it's an okay product. I don't think it should be an as seen on television product. I don't think they should have made an infomercial for this. I think it's just a goofy little kids piggy pop silicone pan. There's nothing special to it. So I'm going to give the piggy pop two Vivian heads. Don't take this to a party. People are going to talk shit about you. As your friend, I just have to tell you. All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Peace.